we have seen the first parameters of earn value management, which are in fact how we find earn value, how we find the planned value, and how we find the actual cost. Basically, what we are going to do now is to look at our project and how is our project evolving over time. First, we have 10 periods. We have 10 widgets to create over those 10 periods and the cost for one widget is 10K. So our planned value curve or our S curve goes from 10 to 100. It's a linear relationship between time and budget. From our project manager, I get the following information for the earned value period one. I earned the value of 10K, which means basically I made one widget. We see over the next two periods, we didn't create anything extra. So the earned value stays constant. It doesn't change anymore. And we only created one widget. What went wrong? We have to see with the team why this happened. Then in period four, way great, we made two extra. So we have 30K. In period five and six, we are producing again as planned. So we have 30, 40 and 50K that we earned. The other information that we get from our project manager is basically the actual cost. And the actual cost we find for period one, 15, period two, 25, 35, 45, 55 and 55. So basically the last period, the actual cost didn't increase. There may be an explanation for that. We don't know, but that's the, the information that we have at this moment. It is your task as a project manager to challenge this information and to be sure that this information is correct. Now, what we have to do now is calculate the schedule variance and the cost variance for every period. And I remind you that the formula for the schedule variance is earned value minus planned value. And the cost variance is earned value minus actual cost. Let's now calculate them. Planned value is equal to earned value. So it means that in this case, my schedule variance is zero. My cost variance, however, I spent 15 where I only created a value of 10. So I have a cost variance of minus five, which means that I'm over budget. Schedule variance here, we had to create a value for 20K. We only made for 10K. So we have here minus 10. And the cost variance here is minus 15. Again, we see that we only have one widget completed. So we earned 10K. We expected to earn 30. So I am here at minus 20. And the cost variance here is basically minus 20 that I have for the schedule variance, I have here minus 25. So minus 25 is the value for here. Now we have 30 and 40. So we only have a schedule variance of minus 10 here. I made some time up and I have a cost variance of minus 15. Here we again, we have minus 10 minus 10. So that stays the same. And here I have a cost variance of minus 15 and a cost variance of minus five. So this is basically the overview of all those parameters for the schedule variance and the cost variance. In the table here, I have summarized the values that we had in the table on the whiteboard before. We still have the duration, the number of widgets we expect to produce, have produced at a certain time, the planned value from it. And I put that information 
in the green line on this graph. So we see that we have the plant value overview from zero up to 100k, which is the budget at completion. In addition, what I put here is the values or are the values that I received from the project managers. I have the earned value and when I look at the earned value, I see after one period I did a great job. I produced the number of widgets as planned. So the earned value, earn value at this moment is equal to the planned value. But here something is wrong. For two periods I didn't create any widgets. What went wrong we don't know. We have to investigate. But that's the job of the team. So suddenly something went wrong. But from here we see that we are getting better. So over the period from three till four, from the fourth period, at the end of the fourth period, I created three widgets, which gives me an earned value of 30. And we are coming closer. And from here, we are producing again one widget per period. So we are in fact back up to speed, but we are still one widget behind. So we are a little bit behind schedule. With the actual cost, it's a little bit different. In the first period, we created the one widget, but we spent 15K for period two, 25, for period three, 35, 45, 55. We see basically that the cost is climbing at the same rate as the original green curve, but we're slightly above. And then for some reason, we have an improvement. We have after period six, only 55K as the actual cost. But what we clearly can see here that is that our project is behind schedule and we're spending more than budgeted. Now, in our case, if we would look at the classical approach, it would give us the same information. It would say we are spending more money. But like I said, we have to compa compare the two and we see that the actual cost is above the earned value, which means that we are over budget. Now, I put the same things, the variances in a graph over time, and we see how the variances are evolving. And it gives us a nice view of what is happening with our project. We see a steep descent here because of the problems we identified here. But then from here, things are getting better. We see the schedule variance is a constant now. We are one element behind and our actual cost improved. So we took some measures to give us a better situation. Looking at the earned value and the actual cost and compare it with the planned value, we have a nice view on what is the performance of our project. Our schedule performance is bad. We are behind schedule. Our cost performance is also bad. We are over budget, but we have a visual on what is happening. This simple graph shows us exactly what's happening with our project. In the next presentations, we will continue this exercise where we will be looking at the performance indexes. And basically at the end, we will be looking at the estimates at completion, how we can calculate them over time and what we can do with it. This was this presentation about the schedule and the cost variance. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next presentations. Thank you and bye bye.